Good evening, everyone. Tonight we gather here, not just in the presence of one another, but in the presence of possibility. The possibility that within each of us lies an uncharted journey, a path that weaves through the highs and lows of life. As we stand here at the crossroads of our own stories, I want to talk about a theme as old as time, yet as fresh as a new dawn, the journey of growth and the role of failure in sculpting our destinies. You see, life is an intricate tapestry of moments, each thread colored with our choices, experiences, and most crucially, our responses to the unexpected curves along the way. It's in these bends in the road where many find themselves at a standstill shadowed by what we often call failure. But what if I told you that failure, the daunting word that it is, is not the end of the road, but rather a guidepost nudging us towards growth? Imagine for a moment a world where every seed planted blooms, where every venture reaps success, and every dream is realized without struggle or struggle. At first glance, this utopia might seem appealing. Yet delve deeper, and you'll see a landscape devoid of depth, resilience, and the sweet triumph that comes only from overcoming adversity. This is the first revelation on our journey tonight. That failure is not the antithesis of success, but often its most faithful companion. Consider the times you stumbled, the moments where things didn't go as planned. I know I've had... These aren't just mere setbacks. They are opportunities disguised in the garb of defeat. Opportunities to learn, to recalibrate, to find that unrelenting strength that resides within us all. Every time we fall and rise, we don't just stand where we were. We stand taller, stronger, and more resilient. The path to growth is seldom straight. It's a winding road filled with obstacles and challenges that test our mettle and our resolve. Yet it's these challenges that carve out the depth of our character, much like a river carving out canyons through the persistent, unyielding flow of its waters. Our response to these challenges shapes not only our destinies, but our legacies. This evening, as we embark on this exploration of overcoming failure, let us shift our lenses. Let us view our past failures, not as a chain that holds us back, but as a ladder that helps us climb higher. Each rung represents a lesson learned, a battle fought, and wisdom gained. The higher we climb, the clearer we see our goals, our dreams, and the person we are becoming. As we progress through this conversation, remember every giant oak was once a nut that stood its ground. In the grand tapestry of life, every color, every thread, including the darker shades of failure, contributes to the beauty of the picture. It's time we embrace these colors, for they are what make our journey unique, our stories worth telling, and our lives worth living. So let us embark on this journey together, not with trepidation, but with the courage of a sailor who knows that calm seas never made a skilled sailor. As we navigate through the seas of life, Let's harness the winds of our failures, using them to propel us forward to shores anew and dreams realize. Tonight is not just a, another evening. It's the beginning of a new understanding, a new perspective on the role of failure in our journey of growth. Let's step forward with confidence, knowing that each step, each stumble, is a part of the dance of life, leading us to our ultimate destination personal growth and triumph. As we venture deeper into our discussion tonight, let's turn our attention to a concept often misunderstood and cloaked in negativity. To many, failure is the unwelcome end of the road, a sign to turn back and abandon the journey. But let me share a different perspective, a perspective that sees failure not as a blockade, but as a guiding star towards greater achievements. In our pursuit of success, it's easy to view failure as the ultimate setback. However, if we pause and look beyond the surface, 
we realize that failure is much more than a mere stumbling block. It's a mentor, albeit a strict one, teaching lessons no textbook or seminar ever could. Failure molds us, not by handing us the answers, but by challenging us to seek them out ourselves. Think of failure as the soil of success. Just as the richest soil often comes from the decay of what was once vibrant, so too do our greatest successes often sprout from the decay of failure. The seeds of triumph are sown in these moments of defeat, watered by the lessons learned and the resilience gained. Every time we fail, we're presented with a crossroads. One path leads us back to the comfort of the familiar, to the safety of never trying again. The other path, less traveled, beckons us to use this experience to forge ahead with greater wisdom and determination. This is the path where true growth happens, where character is built, and where stories of great success find their genesis. In the fabric of life, failure is an essential thread, weaving resilience, fortitude, and grit into our character. It teaches humility, a quality essential to genuine success. It keeps us grounded, reminding us that no path to worth traveling is without its hurdle. The beauty of failure is that it's universal. It does not discriminate. Every successful person you know or have read about has faced their fair share of failures. What sets them apart is not their lack of failure, but their response to the tales of history's greatest achievements are incomplete without chapters of failure. What if Thomas Edison had given up after his first few attempts at creating the light bulb? What if the great composers, artists, and writers had let rejection define their careers? The landscape of human achievement would be starkly different. So, as we traverse our own paths, let's redefine failure. Let's see it as a detour, not a dead end, as a delay, not a defeat. Each time we fail, we're simply discovering another way that won't work inching us closer to the way that the key is to keep moving forward, to keep exploring, and to keep learning. In our ongoing exploration of life's challenges and triumphs, we now turn our focus to a vital cornerstone of success, the mindset of resilience. This mental fortitude, this yielding strength of mind is what separates those who rise from those who remain fallen. It is the inner power that fuels perseverance, enabling us to turn the tides of adversity into the currents of triumph. The concept of resilience isn't merely about enduring the hard blows of fate. It's about how we react, adapt, and emerge stronger from these challenges. It's about crafting a mindset that looks at a hurdle and sees not a, an insurmountable wall, but a stepping stone Resilience is the mental reservoir of strength that humans can tap into during times of stress and turmoil. It's an art, the art of bouncing back. To develop this resilience, the first step is a shift in perspective. It's easy to view life's challenges as personal assaults on our ambitions, our dreams. However, what if we viewed them as opportunities to grow stronger, to build our character? This shift doesn't happen overnight, but with practice, it becomes part of our mental fabric. Picture resilience as a muscle. Like any muscle, its strength is built over time through consistent training and deliberate practice. The training ground for resilience is the daily challenges we face from minor inconveniences to major setbacks. Each challenge, no matter how small, is an opportunity to practice resilience, to develop the mental toughness that we need to face larger obstacles. Developing resilience also requires a sense of purpose. Purpose is the fuel that drives us forward, even when the road gets tough. It's the anchor that keeps us steady in stormy seas. When we have a clear vision of what we want to achieve, our goals and dreams act as a lighthouse guiding us through dark times. This clarity of purpose fortifies our resolve 
and keeps us anchored to our path, no matter the winds and waves that try to veer us off course. Another key component in building resilience is embracing positivity. A positive mindset doesn't mean ignoring life's difficulties. Instead, it means maintaining a sense of hope and optimism, even in the face of challenges. It's about focusing on solutions rather than problems, on what can be done rather than what can't. Positivity and resilience means knowing that the sun will shine after the storm and that each struggle is temporary. Moreover, resilience is nurtured through reflection and learning. Every setback carries with it a lesson, and by reflecting on these lessons, we grow wiser and more prepared for future challenges. The process of reflection involves asking ourselves what we can learn from this situation, how we can improve, and what we can do differently next time. This kind of introspection transforms experiences, even painful ones, into valuable lessons. We must also acknowledge the role of support systems in cultivating resilience. No man is an island, and often our strength is bolstered by the encouragement and support of the, whether it's family, friends, mentors, or colleagues. Having a network of support provides us with different perspectives, advice, and encouragement. In the moments when our resilience wavers, these individuals can be the pillars we lean on to regain our strength. In addition, resilience is about maintaining balance in our lives. It's about knowing when to push forward and when to step back and recharge. Just like a bowstring can snap if pulled too tight, we too can break if we push ourselves too hard without rest. Learning to maintain this balance to recognize when to rest and when to forge ahead is crucial in developing long-term resilience. As we embrace resilience, let us also understand that it's not about a lack of fear or doubt. Even the most resilient among us experience these emotions. The difference lies in not letting fear and doubt paralyze us. It's about feeling the fear and doing it anyway, about facing doubts and still moving forward. Resilience is about the courage to face the unknown and the strength to keep moving in the face of adversity. In our journey towards building this mental strength, let's remember that the road to resilience is often paved with trials and errors, with stumbles and falls. But each time we get back up, each time we push through the barriers, we grow stronger, more resilient. We build within us a well of strength that we can draw from in times of need. Carry with us this understanding of resilience. Let it be a reminder that every challenge we face is an opportunity to strengthen this muscle to fortify our minds against the storms of life. With resilience, we equip ourselves with the tools not just to survive, but to thrive. As we cultivate this mindset of resilience, we ready ourselves for the next phase of our journey, learning from our mistakes and transforming our losses into profound lessons. Let's delve into a crucial aspect of building resilience, learning from our mistakes. Turning our losses into lessons is more than a mere exercise in retrospection. It is a vital step in our journey to success and personal fulfillment. Mistakes are not just inevitable. They are an indispensable part of our growth. They are the forge in which the steel of our character is tempered and strengthened. To understand the true value of mistakes, we must first shed the cloak of shame and disappointment that often accompanies them. In a world that prizes perfection, admitting a mistake can feel like an admission of defeat. But what if we viewed our mistakes as guideposts, as beacons illuminating the path to a better, wiser self? Every misstep, every error, every failed attempt carries within it the seeds of insight and understanding waiting to be unearthed and nurtured. Consider for a moment the powerful lessons that can be gleaned from a single mistake. When a plan fails or a venture goes awry, it forces us to re-examine our methods, our strategies, and sometimes even our goals. 
This introspection is a valuable tool in sharpening our decision making and improving our judgment. Mistakes teach us what doesn't work, narrowing our search for what does. They are the practical, often harsh tutors in the school of experience. The act of learning from mistakes is not passive. It requires active engagement and a willingness to dissect and analyze where things went wrong. This process begins with accepting responsibility. Blaming circumstances or external factors while comforting in the short term, robs us of the opportunity to gain true wisdom from the experience. Owning our mistakes does not diminish our self-worth. Rather, it is a testament to our courage and integrity. Once we accept responsibility, the next step is to extract the lesson. Every mistake has a lesson hidden within it, like a gym waiting to be discovered. Let's ask ourselves probing questions. What led to this outcome? What could have been done differently? How can this experience inform future decisions? These questions help convert the raw experience of failure into the refined gold of wisdom. It's also vital to understand that mistakes come in many forms. Some are the result of risk-taking and venturing into the unknown. These mistakes should be celebrated for they are born of courage in the pursuit of something greater. Others result from oversight, lack of preparation, or misjudgment. These, while less glamorous, are no less valuable in teaching us about diligence, thoroughness, and the importance of preparation. Learning from mistakes also means being willing to start again, to take what we've learned and apply it to new endeavors. This requires a certain tenacity a refusal to be defined by our failures. It is the embodiment of the adage, fall down seven times, stand up eight. Each time we rise, we carry with us the lessons of the past, armed with newfound knowledge and resilience. Moreover, sharing our mistakes and the lessons we've learned is a powerful way to foster growth, not just in ourselves, but in others. When we openly discuss our failures, we demystify them. We show that it's okay to fail, to be imperfect. This openness creates a culture of learning and growth where mistakes are seen as a natural part of the learning process. In cultivating the habit of learning from our mistakes, we must also be cautious not to fall into the trap of over-analysis. Dwelling too long on our past errors can paralyze us with fear and indecision. The goal is not to ruminate on our failures, but to acknowledge them, learn from them, and move forward with greater insight. As we embrace this mindset of learning from our mistakes, we transform our relationship with failure. We begin to see it not as a dreaded end, but as a necessary waypoint on our journey to success. With each mistake, we grow stronger, wiser, more adaptable. We learn to navigate the complex waters of life with greater skill and confidence. Turn our attention to a critical element of personal and professional success, the dynamic duo of action and perseverance. These two qualities are the engines that drive us forward towards our goals, they are the tangible manifestations of our resilience and learning the very heartbeat of our quest for success. Action, the bold step of moving from thought to deed is where the rubber meets the road. It's easy to dream, to plan, and to set goals. The real challenge lies in the doing. Taking action means stepping into the unknown, embracing uncertainty, and being willing to leave the comfort of the familiar behind. It's about igniting that spark within us and transforming it into a blazing fire that propels us forward. But action alone, though essential, is not enough. It must be coupled with perseverance, the unwavering commitment to stay the course in the face of adversity and challenges. Perseverance is the steady hand that guides our efforts ensuring that our actions are not fleeting or sporadic, but consistent and purposeful. 
It's what keeps us going when the initial rush of enthusiasm wanes, when obstacles loom large, and when the finish line seems just out of reach. Together, action and perseverance form a formidable force. They are the antidote to stagnation and the architects of achievement. They turn the possible into the actual, the dream into reality. But how does one cultivate these vital attributes? How do we transform intention into action and action into enduring perseverance? The journey begins with a single step, a decision to act. This step, though small, is a giant leap in our mindset. It's a declaration of our intention to not just exist, but to live purposefully. Every great achievement starts with this decision to act, to write that first word, to make that first call, to take that first step towards our goal. But as we take these steps, we must be prepared for the inevitable challenges and setbacks that will arise. This is where perseverance comes into play. Perseverance is not just about enduring. It's about finding ways to overcome, to adapt, and to continue moving forward. It's about maintaining our focus and energy over the long haul, keeping our eyes on the prize even when the path gets rocky. One of the key strategies in developing perseverance is setting clear. These goals act as waypoints on our journey, giving us direction and a sense of progress. Each goal achieved is a milestone a testament to our ability to endure and to succeed. They fuel our motivation and reinforce our belief in our capabilities. Another vital aspect of perseverance is flexibility. The willingness to adapt and change course when necessary is crucial. Stubbornness can be an asset, but when it turns into rigidity, it becomes a liability. Perseverance is not about blindly adhering to a plan. It's about having the tenacity to pursue our goals while being adaptable enough to navigate the inevitable twists and turns of life. Moreover, perseverance is strengthened by a deep-seated belief in our purpose and our abilities. This belief acts as an anchor, keeping us grounded in times of doubt and uncertainty. It's the voice that whispers, you can do this when everything else is shouting, give up. Cultivating this belief requires introspection, affirmation, and sometimes a leap of faith. We must also recognize the role of patience in our journey. Success rarely comes overnight. It's the result of persistent effort over time. Patience allows us to approach our goals with a long-term perspective, understanding that some fruits take longer to ripen but are all the sweeter for it. As we embrace action and perseverance, let's also acknowledge the importance of rest and recovery. Tirelessly pursuing our goals without pause can lead to burnout and diminishing returns. Knowing when to rest, to step back and recharge is as important as knowing when to push forward. In this dance of action and perseverance, let's remember that setbacks and failures are not the end of the road but rather signposts along the way. They teach us, test us, and ultimately strengthen us. They are the crucibles in which our resolve is tested and our character is forged. Our exploration of the elements that sculpt a successful and fulfilling life, let us turn our attention to a vital yet often underestimated aspect, the power of a support system. The journey to our aspirations filled with challenges and triumphs is seldom a solitary one. The role of a community and mentors in our lives is like the trellis to a vine. Without this support, it's hard for us to reach our true potential. The truth is, no matter how strong or skilled we are, we all need support, guidance, and a sense of belonging. This is where the value of a community a network of like-minded individuals comes into play. A community offers more than just companionship. It provides a shared space for exchanging ideas, offering encouragement, and fostering a sense of collective growth. 
In the company of others, we find the motivation to persevere, the courage to explore new paths, and the comfort of knowing we are not alone in our struggle. Think of the mightiest of trees. Even they, in all their solitary grandeur, thrive in the richness of a forest, drawing strength from the network of roots beneath them. Similarly, in our quest for personal and professional growth, surrounding ourselves with a network of supportive individuals can make the difference between faltering and flourishing. Equally important is the role of mentors, those beacons of wisdom and experience who can illuminate our path. A mentor does not necessarily have to be someone who walks a similar path. Rather, they are individuals who can offer insights, guidance, and wisdom garnered from their own unique journeys. They are the ones who can challenge our thinking, push us beyond our comfort zones, and inspire us by their example. Engaging with mentors is a two-way street. It requires not just the willingness to listen, but also the courage to ask questions and the openness to receive advice. A true mentorship relationship is built on mutual respect, where wisdom is passed down and new perspectives are embraced. It's a dance of knowledge and learning where both parties grow and evolve. In building this support system, remember that quality trumps quantity. It's not about how many people we know, but about the depth and authenticity of these connections. It's about finding those individuals who truly understand our aspirations and challenges, those who cheer us on when we succeed and offer a hand when we fall. But how does one build such a system? It begins with reaching out, with being willing to step into new circles and engage. It involves sharing our stories and listening to the stories of others. It's about being both a mentor and a mentee, a giver and a receiver. Building a support system means creating a space of trust and mutual growth where vulnerabilities can be shared without fear of judgment. In this interconnected world, opportunities for building a support system are plentiful. From professional networks to social gatherings, from online communities to local clubs, each interaction is a thread in the tapestry of our support system. It's about finding those threads that resonate with our spirit and weaving them into a safety net that supports our dreams and aspirations. As we nurture these relationships, we also learn the value of gratitude and reciprocity. A support system is not just about what we receive, but also about what we give. It's about being there for others as they have been for us, about contributing our own insights and strengths to the collective pool. Not underestimate the power of a strong support system. Let it be a reminder that we are part of a larger tapestry, each thread reliant on the others. As we move forward, let this understanding of community and mentorship guide us, offering support, wisdom, and encouragement. As our time together draws to a close, let us cast our eyes forward to the horizon of our own lives, to the journey that each of us is on. This journey, unique to every individual, is a tapestry woven from our experiences, choices, and the lessons we have gathered along the way. It's a journey that asks more of us than to simply tread its path. It asks us to grow, to change, and to evolve into the best versions of ourselves. This path we tread is not a straight and narrow one. It is winding, filled with unexpected twists. It demands not just our footsteps, but our heart, our courage, and our unwavering spirit. Every step forward, every obstacle we overcome, every moment of triumph and setback shapes us, molds us into who we are meant to become. Remember, it's not only the destinations we reach that matter, but the experiences we gather along the way. The moments of uncertainty, the times of struggle, are as valuable as the moments of victory. Each one adds a stroke to the canvas of our lives, creating a picture rich with color and
As we look ahead, let's embrace the unknown with a spirit of optimism and hope. Let our journey be guided not by fear or hesitation, but by a boldness of spirit and a vision of what can be. The twists and turns of the road are not there to deter us. They are there to test our resolve to make our journey worthwhile. Remember, the essence of your journey lies within you, in your actions, your thoughts, and your unwavering will to succeed. It's in the resilience you've built, the mistakes you've learned from, and the unwavering support of those who walk this path with you. Your journey is about discovering your own potential, about pushing beyond the boundaries of what you thought possible. As you venture forward, take with you the lessons of the past, but do not be chained by them. Reflect on where you've been, but focus on where you're going. The road ahead is yours to shape and define. Approach each new day with a renewed sense of purpose and a heart full of hope. And so, as we part ways, carry this thought with you. Your life is a story yet to be fully written. Each day is a new page, a chance to write your own narrative. Paint your journey with bold strokes of courage, resilience, and perseverance. Make your life a masterpiece, a testament to your own strength and spirit. Thank you for sharing this journey of exploration and discovery. May your path be filled with learning, growth, and a wealth of experiences. Ears to your journey ahead, filled with opportunities, adventures, and the promise of a life well-lived. May it be as remarkable as you are.